Today, I'm going over everything we know about Road to Glory before EA Sports drops the deep dive this coming Thursday. But before we get into that, I'm giving away a copy of College Football 25, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe, leave a like, and comment what team I should rebuild first in the game. The first thing we have to talk about is a really sad thing, but there will be no high school games to get your star rating before you can get recruited by colleges. This kind of sucks. It was something I enjoyed about the old game, but it's okay because they have a different system that they're coming up with where you choose what kind of star you want to be. You can choose between a two star and a five star and each of them have a progressing overall that comes with it. As a two star, you'll be a 65 overall. A three star is a 70 overall. A four star is a 75 overall and a five star is a 79 overall. And with some of those higher overalls, you'll be able to compete for spots right when you get into college. But as a lower overall, you'll have to practice a little bit more before you can play. We do not know how choosing a college will work. I don't know if it's gonna be, you have a list of all the colleges and it tells you what string you would be at that college. Like let's say you're a five star going to Memphis, you would be able to start for Memphis. It will have a 10 to 20 hour story mode that you can make different decisions to change the way that things come out. So basically if you are deciding you want to, you know, go party with friends, that will you know negatively affect you maybe affect the way you play in the game that weekend another sad thing is you can only be a quarterback running back wide receiver middle linebacker or cornerback this is sad because in the old game you were able to play any position and it was really fun because you would be able to play an offensive lineman or a fullback or a tight end a position that isn't highly valued uh, sometimes by certain teams but they are highly valued in this game. Sadly, for College Football 25, they won't be. As for weekly things go, you will get different scenarios that pop up on your phone week to week, and you'll have to manage your time each week and decide how to balance your schedule between five areas of focus, academics, leadership, health, training, and brand. So let's take a little bit of a deep dive into some of these different things. For academics, the one thing is people thought you would have to take tests in game, like, you know, little funny tests, but you don't. You don't actually have to do that. You just have to allocate hours to studying. And if you don't, you may be failing and become ineligible to play. And to get back to playing time, you'll have to spend extra hours with tutors, which will then set you back somewhere else. Now for leadership roles and position battles, this is where you can bank coach trust points and how you can get on the field. Allocating time here means getting in the film room and doing the necessary football things that aren't necessarily practicing just like in the old game once you've earned enough coach trust you'll be able to compete for the starting job you will go against your teammate in a best of two mini game just like in the old game once you've earned enough coach trust you will be able to compete for a starting job you will go against your teammate in a best of three mini game to see who stands out against your teammate your teammate will also earn coach trust so even if you win the starting role you will still have to fight for your starting spot week to week because they could catch up to you and you'd have to go through another starting battle as for it goes with health throughout the season you will occur wear and tear on your body and you will have to allocate time to recover in order to stay healthy throughout the season or else you will risk getting even more injured throughout the season and maybe not be able to play in really important games, which may affect your draft stock. Training is where you will practice on the field and gain XP, which will be able to boost your ratings and skill trees. The more time you spend here, the faster you'll see your overall go up. It will be at the expense of other things like your health, your brand, a coach trust, things like that. And having a great overall won't help if you aren't able to be on the field for academic reasons or injuries or lack of coaching trust, like I just mentioned. The final piece of the NIL portion of Road to Glory, where you can sign brand deals to get fans and boost your following. Now, this might seem like the least important thing and easy to, section to put off. However, each brand deal will come with in-game boost that will help you throughout the season. You may be able to get shoes from Nike that give you speed boosts, or you may be able to get shoes from adidas that give you a jump boost these kind of things in the game are going to be super cool but you will have to make sure you have a good following to get some of these things we don't know how it's going to affect what school you go to because let's say you are a big name but you're not that good will you get accepted to a school like alabama and start because of your name or are you going to go to a smaller school bring them more fame and build your way up the tree to be a you know heisman caliber player that's something we don't know yet for the dynamic scenarios that you're given throughout the season, these will be things that will negatively or positively impact your career. Let's say you decide to go out and party one night, but you have an early morning practice. That will negatively impact your coach trust. 
but maybe you build team chemistry by going and partying with your teammates or it will make your GPA go down if you decide to go party instead of study. These are all things that you'll have to manage throughout the week and throughout the season to make sure that you stay on top of everything, which is really, really in depth by EA Sports to add stuff like this. And I think it is super, super cool. On game day, everything you do throughout the week will also impact how you perform on game day. Your mental and physical attributes will determine some in-game boosts, as will the aforementioned brand deals. Your coaching trust will determine play calling options and for QBs, whether you can hot route or audible. So this is like the old NCAA 14 game where you had to have a certain amount of coach trust to be able to do certain things in the game. Like, you know, let's say you just got the starting job, you weren't able to pick any plays, you weren't able to make any audibles, you had to do exactly what the coach wanted you to do. But after a couple seasons of being the starter, maybe you were able to do all of those things. This will be in the game, which I really liked about the old game. Just like in real life, you can redshirt for a year if you choose to, but the game will automatically do it for you if you can't win the starting job and you never played a snap it will automatically give you another year of eligibility while you were able to practice and get better. I think this is really cool because the old game did not have redshirting. I don't know if I'm gonna be using redshirting when I play the game, so let me know down in the comments below if you will, but if I can't win the starting job playing at the hardest difficulty at Michigan State, then I would like to be redshirted, especially because right now they have Aiden Childs there, who is an amazing quarterback, who I wouldn't start over right away. The transfer portal will be available to you every off season, just like in real life. It will be worked on just like recruiting. At the beginning, when you pick your first team, you'll get offers from teams that fit your preferences. I really like that because because I want to start at a smaller school to get better and see the field and then transfer to a bigger school to win a championship. In my mind, I kind of wanted to start out at a school that's local to me and where I grew up and then transfer to my favorite school, which is Michigan State. I think this would be really cool to see in the game because you may be able to follow your coaches throughout the year. So let's say you have a coach at a small school, you guys start winning and he packs up and he goes to Oregon State. Well, guess what? You can follow him to Oregon State as well. Another thing that I really like that they're doing is you can actually export your road to glory player to madden this is something that a lot of people really wanted in the game but they wanted it for draft classes for dynasty which sadly we're not able to get but at least we do have the option to export our road to glory player i'm going to be using this because i really like playing superstar in madden and i really want to be able to see my guy go from college all the way to the nfl and become a you know super bowl winning quarterback now let me know down in the comments below what you think of these changes and also, we're going to get some cool, cool updates about gameplay for head-to-head -head early this week. I may be doing a deep dive on those, but I'll make sure I get everything that you missed in the deep dive for Road to Glory by the end of the week. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Peace.